In this problem, we're going to find the electric field due to a line of charge with non-uniform charge density. We'll put the, the line of charge on the x-axis. One end of the rod is a distance d from the origin, and the length of the rod is L. The formula on the formula sheet for electric field, E is K dq over R squared R hat. Now in our case, since we're on the x-axis, we'll have our little dq, a distance x from the point of interest. So we're trying to find the electric field at the origin. If, if this is a positively charged rod, which we'll assume it is, the electric field points to the left, and it is a vector. So our expression now can become the r hat direction is the direction of the electric field. That would be negative i hat. And the r, the distance from dq to the point of interest, we can write as x squared. Okay, now the width of our little dq element will be dx. So we can write the linear charge density as dq over dx. Or we can write dq equals lambda dx. And that's how you get rid of dq in the integral and put it in terms of x. Now in our case, lambda is not a constant. It is a function given by 4 over x dx. Okay, so I'm going to sub that into the integral. And we will have 4 over x times dq over x squared. Our limits of integration will be from one end of the rod, d, to the other end of the rod, d plus l. Okay, so that's a pretty easy integral to do. I can write it as the integral of x to the minus 3, which becomes x to the minus 2 over minus 2, evaluated from d to d plus l. Summing in the limits of integration, I get, I'm going to leave the negative 2 down there, I get 1 over d plus l squared minus 1 over d squared. Now it appears that, that those two negatives cancel out, but in fact this quantity in brackets is also negative. So I'm just going to rearrange that so I see that it indeed does point to the left. If I flip this around, that then is the final expression.